A health alert tonight regarding sperm counts. A new study just out showing they're plummeting. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with a closer look at who this is affecting, Doc. Yeah, Glenda, so in what the, some of the medical community are calling an extremely serious public health crisis, the sperm count of Western men has dropped by more than half in the last 50 years, and the trend shows really no signs of slowing down. So why is this such big news? Well, for a few reasons. The first one is obviously that men with slow, lower sperm counts have a harder time conceiving. But the second reason might surprise you that it's a real cause for concern that men with lower sperm counts tend to have higher mortality rates uh, with things like heart disease and even cancer. So that's a really big news. I guess a key question here is what's behind the decline? So Stephen, nobody really knows for sure, but researchers believe it has something to do with the hectic modern lifestyles. Likely it's things like obesity, poor nutrition, too much stress, lack of exercise, and exposure to chemicals and pesticides that I think are driving this trend. But nobody's pinpointed an exact reason. What they do know is that between 1970 Three and 2011 total sperm count declined by 59 percent. So that's a that's a big number. So what guidelines do you have for us? Uh, prescriptions as always. So uh, for the men who out there, I can uh, give you the following guidelines or prescriptions. Number one, don't smoke. It's been proven that smoking lowers your sperm count. Also, limit exposure to toxic chemicals such as herbicides, pesticides, painting materials, lead, and other heavy metals. Also, don't drink too much alcohol. This can lower testosterone, leading to decreased sperm production. And finally. Find a way to de-stress. Really important through something like yoga or meditation. Stress is bad for everything we talk about, including your sperm count. Anything else you can tell us about what's going on here that we ought to know? I think that I think what's happening is this is a this is a problem with I think your general health going down, and I think we talked about this before where yoga and and meditation. If you decrease your stress, not only do you decrease your heart disease, but also you can increase things like sperm count. So overall, I think that'll make a big difference. Okay, it's not a technology thing or all the things in the air. I, I think there may be a combination, but it's hard okay. to pinpoint it. What I would tell people is that, you know, try to do what we talk about. Eat well, yeah. exercise, and decrease your stress. Control what you can. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. If you have a question for the good doctor, you can send him a note there at his email, drnandy at wxyz.com, or just shoot it to us on Facebook or Twitter.